Through Honorable Duale almost became a Muslim, to let the Honorable Aden Barre Duale on his approval, nomination and approval by this House to now serve as the Cabinet Secretary for Defense. Honorable Speaker, I must indicate that I am immensely proud to have worked with Honorable Aden Duale as our first leader of majority. And I'm even more proud, Honorable Speaker, to be taking over the office that the Honorable Aden Duale defined. It is the Honorable Duale who defined what the office of the leader of majority and our new constitution will be. And he indeed shaped this office into what it is today. Honorable Speaker, I found Honorable Duala in this house in the 11th Parliament, and I have had a lot of learning from him, both as a member of Parliament. He helped me to settle down as a member of Parliament when I joined this house as a, a new member of Parliament. He guided me and shaped me into the person that I am today. And that's why I say I am very proud to be taking over the office that he leaves, having served as our first leader of majority. And Honorable Speaker, we have served also in the same party. First, in Jubilee together, when he came in under URP, I came in under TNA. We worked together as we brought together the two parties to form the Jubilee Coalition. And eventually, we were both thrown out of the same Jubilee together. And we joined hands as the founding members of the United Democratic Alliance, UDA, that together with the other partner parties in Kenya Kwanzaa that moved on to form government uh, this year, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the only member of parliament, Honorable Speaker, that I can proudly say is my friend and a friend to my family. Honorable Speaker, when we were in the dungeons and suffering immensely under the previous regime, I remember one time, accompanied by my two daughters, I drove to Honorable Duale's house. And the following day, he called my wife and he told me, because there's a lot of extrajudicial killings in this country, should anything happen to your husband, rest assured, mommy, your children will be well taken care of by Aden Duale and William Ruto. Support your husband in this fight and we pray for him. And I know the Honorable Aden Duale and his wife on many occasions would call me late in the night. At one point he used to sleep at 10 p.m., but eventually we transitioned him to start sleeping at midnight and after midnight. Now he's taking over a job where he will never sleep. Honorable Duale, be ready not to sleep as you defend our borders, as you lead our generals and our defense forces in protecting the lives and property of our nation and our people. I want to wish you all the best, Honorable Duale, and know that in us, you have a friend, you have friends here in this house. We will remember you. We are not bidding you farewell because you are just crossing the street to uh, the, the, the defense headquarters out of this house. But you're always welcome to this house. We welcome you as our leader of majority emeritus. And uh, Honorable Speaker, I cut short my story on his prayers for my family and myself. Today, I thank God that having gone through what we went through with Honorable Duale and many of us who are in Kenya Kwanzaa, Honorable Speaker, we stand here alive, our family is well, and we thank God for that. And I want to thank Honorable Duale for the encouragement and the courage he gave me continuously. And he would always tell me, as a Muslim, fear nothing other than God. Through Honorable Duale, I almost became a Muslim at least in having the courage and determination to remain focused on what we were looking for. And I thank God that we were able to achieve that. And I thank God immensely that we got government and the Honorable Duale now transitions from the legislature to the executive. And I want to pray that Honorable Duale, God will guide you and will give you the wisdom to serve our nation in the executive with the determination, with the zeal, and energy that you served with in this house as leader of majority and more so as a member of parliament for Garissa Township and earlier as member of parliament for Dujis. We will emulate and follow your steps. We will learn on the best from you. And I want to pray that even the new members of parliament will be able to. The